Go you. ahead, Rod. You're first. Hey, Kyle. Uh, last couple of games, you and Devon have done a great job with you know without uh, making many turnovers or none at all. Uh, what else is Coach Pastor looking from you guys at the point? Um, con to continue to take care of the ball, um, continue to apply uh, pressure with, within their ball handlers coming up the floor and, you know, when they're, they're trying to set up the So just be disruptors. Kyle, I was curious kind of what are you seeing from the offense in terms of just the flow and consistency? Do you feel like you guys are getting closer? Is it still kind of a work in progress? What are you saying? Um, I feel like we're getting closer. I feel like uh, the North Carolina game, things just kind of got away from us very quickly. Um, but the past few games before that, I felt like we were clicking. Um, it just didn't go our way at the end. So I'm I'm in a very good spot of where our team is going to head and where we're headed to now. Okay, Rod, you're next. Hey, Kyle, uh, when you guys go small on defense, it, it it's a little bit of a, a problem, especially when you're facing a team like North Carolina or Boston College that had six, ten, seven foot bigs. When, when the big comes out to screen uh, somebody like Usher, uh, how how important is communication between Usher and, and you as, as far as you know whether to stay with the the post play or or to switch off? Um, like you said, I feel like communication is essential and it's the biggest part of defense. If, if we're all communicating, it makes our defense better and it makes us all aware of, you know, who got our help or who's, who or where people are supposed to be. So communication is the most essential part to our defense, especially when we're playing small. Would, I imagine you would prefer to usher to stay with the big guy and you stay on your man. Um, it, it honestly doesn't matter. I feel like we both have the same fight. You know, we should both be able to guard anybody on the floor. I feel like that's what makes our team dangerous when we do go small. Next to Ken Segura and then back to Kelly. Uh, can I ask you about Jordan Usher, just particularly his leadership? He was saying the other day about how he's kind of feels uh, responsible to lead the younger guys. Uh, I don't know if you fall in that category necessarily, but uh, what do you see in the way that you know, he's trying to connect with those guys and maybe how, what you see those guys, how they respond to him. I feel like he's doing a great job um, trying to use his voice in any way that he can. And this is their first experience in the, one of the highest levels of basketball that can offer. So I think he just tries to stay motivated within them and also, you know, be there, that pickup guy to be like, hey, man, it's OK. Just keep working. So I think he's doing a great job. Kelly. In terms of just kind of getting the team going, obviously you've seen the spurts since you've been here where you guys kind of turn it on. Do you feel like you guys are capable of kind of doing that now? Now that you sort of played the top half of the league to open the schedule, uh, now the schedule gets a little more uh, palatable in terms of just matchups with team. You're not playing the two teams with the two best big men anymore. Um, just do you feel like you guys are poised to maybe make a run now? I truly do. Um, I think even 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 the teams that had the two best big men, I feel like we there were winnable games. I feel Duke was definitely a winnable game. And I feel like uh, the game here against North Carolina was winnable. We was up in the first half. They kind of got away from us. Um, and at North Carolina, like I said, they got away from us early and it was kind of hard to fight back. But I do, I'm looking forward to the second half of the season. I think, you know, our tough Preseason, our pre-conference schedule is going to help, and just all the experience that we've gone up to up until this point. Oops. Got time for one or two more? If anybody has one, raise your hand. If you do, okay, Rod, we'll go with you, and then we'll wrap that up. Kyle, have you done any? Uh, has the team done as any film work on Wake, and if so, what have you seen? Um, we haven't done any film work on them yet. Today we're going to get started with them. But from last year, we know they run a lot of good sets. Um, they're a pretty disciplined team from what I remember. Um, and they play hard, so I feel like it's going to be a great game. Both teams need this win. Sounds good. Kyle, thanks a lot for your time, man. No doubt. One thing he emphasizes. But uh, for me, it also starts to break off. Um, if I can be able to grab a rebound and, and get in transition and find guys and be able to have scoring opportunities is a big thing for us. So um, for us, we got to get better at just being better in transition. So us getting more rebounds, our, our guard play and stuff, it opens up the floor.
Let's go to Zach Klein and then to Ken Segura. Go ahead, Zach. Well, I have two questions for you. One, have you seen the bobblehead for Coach Pastner for tomorrow night with the face shield? And two, uh, who would be the teammate of yours that would be most deserving of a bobblehead? What would that look like? Um, funny thing is, um, Jordan Escher, I don't know if you guys saw on Christmas, he pro uh, posted on Twitter, um, somebody got him a bobblehead as well that um, had the crazy hair that he always has and stuff. And um, it was cool. I, I actually seen coaches too um, in his office. He has it right by his desk. So um, those are both awesome. But I, I would definitely probably, probably give it to Usher. Um, he's the most characteristic guy I know. So for him, I think that would be a great idea. Pretty good uh, description of uh, coach. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know how he is. And he's bringing that, he's trying to bring that back too as well too. So I love it. Ken, go ahead. Um, if I can ask you something about Jordan Usher, uh, he, I, I was talking on the ACC teleconference with some of the coaches about him. They, one thing they mentioned was his effort. And I'm sure that you, that's something you see, you know, every day and in game. Kind of what would you, how do you describe just the way that he plays, plays the game? Uh, with a lot of heart. Um, one thing that I think that him transferring here and learning from Jose Alvarado um, is that heart, tenacity, and um, the energy level that Jose brought every single day. So I think he's just trying to enlist that into us. Um, as far as like the young guys and stuff and understanding that that winning is hard, <laughs> especially in the ACC, this conference and the type of schedule that we have, um, you got to bring that each and every night. So um, for him, it's a big thing for us. Um, we need for him to come out every day with that type of energy level. So he plays at a high level when he's doing those type of things. Got time for a couple more. Let's go to Rod McKenzie. Hey, Michael. Uh we talked to Kyle about, you know, his take on Wake Forest. What, what did you see from them the last time you played? From the last time I played. So we haven't even watched film on them yet, but um, I've watched them a couple games this season, and they got a lot of scores, um, a lot of good transfers that have, have came in and um, changed their little program around. So um, from that, for them, it's a, they're a really good basketball team, which they always are. So um, for us, is we need this one. We're playing in desperate mode right now. So um, we need to come out and and win this game tomorrow. Uh, Ken Segura, go ahead, Ken. Well, you've had some success against Blake Forest. I don't know how, how familiar you are with, with that, but is it one of those kind of confidence things or, or is it matchups or how would you describe kind of the, the way you've been able to play so well against them? Uh, the funny thing is they were on my, um, my top five list of schools coming out of high school. So I kind of take that game a little personal. Um, I, I used to know the staff and stuff. So they actually changed their staff recently. So right. uh, I'm not too familiar with them. But uh, I also had some guys on the team that I've also grew up playing basketball with, with like Shondi Brown and stuff too. So um, just another game though. I take every game considerate. I also take every game personal. Um, but I, I got to understand the, the things that defenses are going to do throughout the year on me. And um, just got to adjust to those type of things.